We always talk about a trading plan, having a clear trading plan. But what is a trading plan? A trading plan is like a roadmap to help us what to do in the markets. It will help us with th things like when to enter, where to put our stop loss, where to take profits, how much money are we willing to lose on each and every trade, when not to trade, variables of success or failures. If you have a winning trade, it doesn't mean that your strategy is a successful one. If you have a losing trade, it doesn't mean that your trading strategy is a failure one. Trade managing rules and exit criteria. Hey there, Tamir from FibonacciTraders.com here from Sunny Popangan with the daily market recap. Before we start, please hit the like and subscribe button so I will know that you like my contact and I will appreciate it very much. So, without further ado, let's see the charts. SPY, as we can see, still moving inside the red box, very tight price range. So until something will happen to the downside or to the upside, we are sitting on hands doing basically nothing because if we try to trade this tight range, most probably we will get exhausted. And one of the first things as traders, we want to save our mental power, mental strength, and avoid exhaustion. So, if price will break to the downside, we have the levels to keep, to keep our eyes on as future support. Breaking to the upside, we have these two gaps here, and the levels and the major trend line as future resistance. This trend line goes all the way one year back. 2022, January 2022, and every time price reaches this area, it gets rejected. QQQ, as we can see, relative weakness on the Qs, 260 needs to hold, otherwise 250, 240, and maybe even retesting this trend line, this trend line holding lower lows, since September of 2021, every time price reaches this area, it bounces back. So let's see where the queues takes us. For now, bears full control on the queues. Dow Jones, as we can see, 335 to the upside is a very strong resistance because just by looking left, we can see it was a very important support. Now resistance and looks like bulls are starting to give up on the Dow Jones. And if they will give up, we have this trend line to the downside to keep our eyes on and price might slide over. And we have levels as support to the downside. IWM bouncing up and down. 170 support 176 resistance so also here until we get clear move to the upside or to the downside we do nothing and it's okay even if we are full-time traders it's okay to sit on hands days and weeks to come until we see the best opportunity that we can identify and only then we make our plan and trade the plan. Apple, as we can see, bouncing between the 125 and the 130. Overall, zooming out, very bearish sentiment on Apple. We have levels to the downside and trend lines to manage risk to the downside. And we have the levels and this trend line here to manage risk and position if and when Apple will bounce. Tesla is next. 
trying to hold the 108. Let's see where price takes us. We have some kind of a potential double bottom, short term double bottom, if it will validate and if it will succeed to break above the red trend line. Why this trend line is very important? Because if we look left, we can see that this trend line held the lower lows since November and October 2021. Now it's below. And as we can see from support to resistance, and if this small double bottom will validate, we can expect maybe 136, 137 to the upside. But same as Apple and the most of the market, bears are in full control. Netflix closed this gap here. And once gaps are getting filled, we get some kind of a U-turn. And here we have intraday. We can see gap was filled and sideways move. But Netflix is still in an uptrend until proven otherwise. NVIDIA holding the 143. Bulls are giving a fight on this level. Let's see if they can push price back towards the 152 and maybe towards the 167. Or if Bulls will give up, we have the levels to the downside as support areas shopify another great example of why trend lines are the true support and resistance for price action we need to understand the relationship between trend lines and price action check the link that will pop just about now over here a short video i made about the relationship and why trend lines are the true support for price action and as we can see we have if you are a pattern trader we have some kind of a cup handle but as i see it, it's still in a downtrend and i'm waiting for a break to the upside meta also yesterday closed the gap we have this trend line resistance two dojis of a trend line let's see if bulls have enough power in their hands to break up and above or are we going back to retest these trend lines always follow price if you are will argue with price most likely we will lose expat chinese ev company we have 1220 as a very strong resistance let's see a break above then we have the levels to the upside to manage risk, take profits, and manage the position. Neo also trying to bounce, making higher lows on the short term. But zooming out, we have this blue trend line. And I would wait for this trend line to break up and above, and also above the 1150 to the upside. And of course, everything you see and hear on this video is for educational purposes only, not an advice to take any trade or investment of any kind. In general, never follow blindly anyone on social media, paid or free services on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, all you can learn. It's great to learn and have as much tools as you can learn but in the end it's all on you you have to make your own strategy and trade your strategy excel e we can see we have this uptrend channel the lower blue line is holding but we have here, short term downtrend. Let's see which one will get break first to the downside, the blue line to the downside, and then we have this trend line to hold or 
Are we going to break to the upside this yellow trend line going back, retesting a higher high on the XLE? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Where is XLE heading? Jet CTF. Very interesting price section here. We have higher low. We have the low from September, October 2022. Now we have a higher low here. Let's see a break to the upside continuation above the 1815, 1915, and maybe even going towards the 2230. So this is on my watch list for the coming days and weeks. Natural gas. If you follow my channel and my Twitter, once it broke to the downside and we said once price will break to the downside the 530 we will see 350 and here we are almost touched the 350 and we have an open gap to the upside so only by understanding in-depth candlestick analysis we can with high probability anticipate where price is heading next check the links in the description and in the comments we have special discount for the gold membership on fibonacci traders discord check it out learn how to trade by yourself we have the us 10-year yield lower highs we have here the lower highs 385 is a very strong resistance we want to see this going down breaking below the 350 area and making a new lower low in the short term the rise on if you are following my twitter we said long above the 40 area we have this uptrend channel bulls breaking up and above now all we have to do is manage the open position raising my our stops according to the levels and the trend lines so hope you find this video helpful please hit the like and subscribe check the links in the description below and until the next video stay safe